Today, through this video, I want you to get familiarized with the sign convention that we normally use. Okay, in the further lectures and also we are going to use this sign convention. So there are basically few things that we need to have a sign convention for. The very first thing is bending moment. Okay, the sign convention for bending moment. The normal convention is that sagging moments are positive and hogging moments are negative. That is, a sagging moment, a hogging moment. Okay, so this is positive, this is negative, and it is very easy to remember these two because if you just draw face to it, then you will clearly know this is definitely positive and this is definitely negative okay so our sagging moments are positive and hogging moments are negative so what is sagging moment sagging moments is that if because of the application of the load the beam is bending into a profile like this okay if it's bending to a profile like this we call it as a sagging moment which is normally represented as a positive bending moment and this is hogging. So let's see an example for sagging and hogging case. Say if there is a cantilever beam and I am applying a load at the free end. And if I am taking a section here and if I am trying to calculate the moment here, say at a section xx. Okay, let it be at a distance of x from the free end. So when you want to calculate the moment at any given section, you can either look into the right or look into the left. You are going to get the same value. So if I'm looking to the right, what I'm going to find is this. The load is W, the lever arm is X, so the magnitude of moment is WX. Now I need to see whether it is sagging or hogging. So the simplest thing what you can do is just imagine that the point where you are calculating the bending moment or the section is hold it tightly in your hand. Okay, hold it tightly and apply the load now just imagine how this is going to bend on the application of that load okay because of the application of the load this beam will be bending like this okay because of the given load this profile is the one that matches with the hogging case and we know that hogging is negative hence this mxx is minus wx similarly if you want to get the example for a sagging case, okay, an example for a oh, sorry sagging case, yes. So what you can do is consider this load is acting in the opposite direction. Now if I'm taking the same section, okay, I'm extended that section as xx at a distance of x from the free end. What will be the bending moment and what will be the value? The value will be same, the magnitude will remain same because now if I take the section to the right, what I'm going to find is W times X. So it is W X itself. What about the sign, whether it is positive or negative, which means either it is sagging or hogging. So you can assume that this point is fixed and because of the application of the load, it will bend like this. And this is the part of the sagging moment, which means this moment what we got here is plus now the confusing aspect if you want to assign a plus or minus is when there is a moment acting in the system okay for example say if you have a beam like this and there is a moment m acting at the free end and i want to calculate again the bending moment at the section which is at a distance of x okay so what will be mxx so here what you can find is that i apply this moment so when we are having a moment there is no need for us to multiply it with the lever arm we can directly take the value m itself so magnitude is m now i want to know whether it is a sagging moment or a hogging moment okay so that's the part we are a bit confused so I will give you a small demonstration which will help you to clearly identify whether it is sagging or hogging. So 
I was in search of uh, the right tool that can be used. The tool what I normally use to demonstrate this is a steel scale. Not that uh, fiber or the plastic one, steel scale. If you have that, that is the best when you go for exam to carry a steel scale with you so that you can easily identify whether a moment is sagging or hogging. So I searched and what I found is this. Okay, a knife that we normally get with a birthday cake. This will do the job. I just want something which is flexible. So I'm going to start from here and we'll come to this case. So here, so this point, I'm holding it, I'm applying the load, it bends and this is the profile of hogging. Now if I try here, I'm holding it here, I'm applying the load, so I'm applying the load at the free end. So it's the profile sagging. And now I'm going to try applying the load for this condition. Okay, so I'm holding it here. Now, the moment is something like this. Okay, a moment in this direction. If I apply a moment like that, the profile what I'm getting is the hogging profile. Okay, so just apply the moment in the direction what is given in the problem. So now I'm getting a hogging moment and we know that hogging moment is a negative moment. Similarly, if the case was something like this and in between I'm having a moment M and I'm trying to take a section at a distance say X from here. So what's going to be the magnitude? We know that when it is a moment, I just need to write the magnitude directly as M. Now I need to know what moment it is, whether it is sagging or it is hogging. Okay, here the profile what we got was something like this. Now I want to get the profile here. So I'm holding at the point where I want the moment. Okay, that is this is the x x. So this is the point. And I need to apply a moment like this. And at the center point, I'm applying the moment. And you can see it is a sagging moment. So this value is positive m. And this is how we calculate the bending moment and assign signs signs to it and uh, the major part which is confusing for student is the concept you might be familiar like uh, you have been using some clockwise anti-clockwise rule and somewhere you're using sagging hogging so that's a bit confusing so i will clear clarify it for you whenever we are talking about summation of moments that is sigma m the sign convention what we can use is clockwise positive anti-clockwise negative Okay, whenever it is summation of moment. Whenever you are seeing M without the summation or sigma with it, you should use the sign convention as sagging, hogging. Okay, so if you want to calculate the net moment in the system, you'll be using sigma M. Then you need to use clockwise and anticlockwise. When you are calculating moment at any given point, that is this M at A, M at B, M, B, M, C, M, D, then you should use sagging hogging, where sagging is positive and hogging is negative. So this is the sign convention you are going to see in almost all the textbooks. Every software, they are going to follow the same sign convention. Now the next thing is shear force. Okay, what should be the sign convention for shear force? The sign convention for shear force that I normally take is you might be might have seen some graphical representation. What I consider the sign convention is as this. Run. Whenever we hear about shear force, run for your life. Okay. This is basically right upward negative. Okay, that's what the sign convention is. For example, I will tell you, say I'm considering this case itself. So I'm considering this case itself, the first case where I'm having a cantilever beam, a load is acting at this point and I want to have the shear force at the cross section XX. So I'm talking about VXX, shear force. Shear force also we can look either to the right or to the left. And this sign convention what we mentioned was for right upward negative so what will be the case if i'm looking to the left so left upward positive just a reverse of it right upward is negative which means that left upward will be positive 
that's why that's how we need to remember this left upward as positive so now I am looking to the right when I'm looking to the right the net force on the right side is W downward I'm looking to the right the sign convention is right upward negative what I have is right net force is downward if right upward is negative right downward will be positive hence the value will be plus W is that clear we'll try one again what about here if the load was like this okay again xx what is the shear force I will calculate the magnitude by considering the net force so net force on the right is W now I need to look the direction I am looking to the right side net force is upward right upward is negative which means minus W okay what about here I am having M I am considering this as XX what is the shear force what will be the magnitude of shear force VXX in this case the magnitude will be now what is the net force it's zero okay because the net force is zero because what I don't have any forces here what I have is a moment so the net force in this case is zero the shear force to the right of the xx section is zero so this is the sign convention that you should be very thorough with because this is highly useful when you are plotting bending moment diagram shear force diagrams and also while calculating the strain energy because there also we are we need to have expressions for M where these sign conventions that is sagging hogging sign convention is going to come into picture. Thank you.